Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. What I have in front of me today are the two new Coca-Cola Creation flavor. And I have the full sugar and the sugar-free, the zero sugar versions of this one. I'm able to find both of them. And I'm going to open them up and taste them, tell you what I think. I haven't looked, uh, at this point I haven't looked at any other reviews to tell me what this is supposed to taste like. So everything that I tell you is just to be my very first impressions with no uh, bias from what I've read. I would like to note, I don't know if I've said this before, but something that I have appreciated that Coca-Cola and I think Pepsi's doing this as well, but making the zero sugar versions of basically all their products very definable because they all have this black cap. Coca-Cola has a red cap, I think Mountain Dew has a green cap, Sprite has a white cap, but then every version of their sugar-free of whatever it is always has the black cap. So far from what I've seen, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. But I do like that. I like that how it's uh, consistent throughout all of their forms. Let's go ahead and try Coca-Cola Move. It says it's supposed to be transformation flavored. So it's supposed to taste like a transformation. Uh, it has a pink uh, label to it. Maybe that has some clue as to what I'm supposed to be tasting. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. First we'll smell it, see if there's any definable smells that might give away uh, what flavor it might be. It does smell a bit sweeter than a regular Coca-Cola. I mean, it has some kind of candy note to it. Let's go it. Hmm. So, it's better than the Stardust one, the, the one that tasted like uh, dirt. This one actually has, has a flavor that is like a, a real flavor that you would want. Mm. The flavor also has like a almost buttery note to it. It almost tastes like a, the aftertaste you get from like movie theater popcorn. I'm not sure what that is, but it's like some almost buttery flavor. It's not like a strong buttery flavor, but like um, almost when you eat Jelly Bellies and they have the butter popcorn flavor, it's like that, but taken down to like a just noticeable flavor. You would definitely say, the other one gave this to you and said it was Coca-Cola. You'd definitely pick up something different and wonder what that is. And you'd question your friend who handed it to you why you didn't give me a regular Coca-Cola and what the crap am I drinking. Let's try the zero sugar one, see if uh, flavors are similar. If, I'm, if I detect any other... Uh, flavors or smells that I didn't get off the full sugar one. Carbonation of this one is a little bit more burn all over my nostrils. Interestingly, the smell in this one is more reminiscent of the taste of the full sugar one, where I said. This originally smelled like a sweet candy. This one has more of that buttery savoriness smell. Let's see what it tastes. It 
Yeah, the zero sugar one is not as candy sweet. You get the, the flavor a lot more than just sweet Coca Cola. In fact, this one tastes more dissimilar to a regular Coca Cola. That is very interesting. Apparently, there's someone named Rose, Rose, Rosalia or Rosalia, maybe, whose name is on both of these. Uh, maybe she's an artist of some sort, or I don't know. Let's look on the internet and see what Coca Cola Move tastes like. What does Coca Cola Move taste like? This product is vanilla forward and has a strawberry ish flavor to it. It's hard to articulate exactly why, but also feels like drinking a rum and Coke. There's a fruity bitterness to it, like someone spilled my drink with a dash of awful tasting at the party. That was from the takeout. Um, this one says, does it really taste like rosé? I don't think it tastes like rosé. Okay. Rosalie is a Grammy Award winning singer, apparently, who has a song called Lie Like You Love Me. It's a bad title for a song, if you ask me. Uh, what is Coca Cola Mode? What does it taste like? This person said bubblegum. I can see that because, like, a weird fruitiness. This was this coconut rum, coconut vanilla. Coconut could be it, because, like, coconut cream, coconut butter, like, buttery flavor could be, like, the coconut, like, fatty, buttery parts of a coconut. So I could get that. It wasn't. It wasn't really coconutty though, but like I can see how that could be uh, what someone tasted. <laughs> so it says, according to Twitter, what does it taste like? According to Twitter, um, Google this collaboration with musician Rosalia Move has caught on a lot of attention while it's Transforming taste, which according to many Twitter's use is definite has a definite flavor to it. The majority of Coca-Cola moves strong taste of coconut and vanilla. Okay. I don't hate the idea of it being coconutty. Now that I'm having a coconut in my mind, let's taste it again. Let's see. Am I picking up coconut? Okay. Okay. You can definitely see how people are getting coconut. But almost like a toasted coconut, not like a very raw coconut, because it has like this savory butteriness to it. Anyway, that's what I got from it. It's not bad. I don't know who Rosalie is, but uh, the uh, full sugar one, um, and this is to no surprise of anyone, is more sugary, more candy-like, whereas the zero sugar one, the f savory flavors come out a lot more. They're both good. I like them. Um, if you've tried them, let me know in the comment section below if you think they taste like coconut or not. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. All the stuffs. Bye.